can you even see me is the question. The sun is rising and Dex and I have a show today. I of course forgot to check when the sun rises and right now it is very late in the day. Well, at least in horse show terms. So it rises at like 7.15 and I have literally been waiting for it to get light enough to load him in the float because the internal float lights aren't working and Dexter is very particular about loading sometimes and loading into a float that is dark I think would be a big no-no. So we're just waiting. Today I have Mount Pleasant Show, AKA the State Show Jumping Championships, just meter 20. They just decided to move last year's state champs into just like a show and just do one class of like each height. So yeah, we're just doing the meter 20 today because I missed the proper show yesterday because I had a family holiday, which was kind of depressing leaving. It was true just like horse girl vibes when I had to leave the family holiday, leave my boyfriend at the family holiday and go back home alone to have a horse show with decks but yeah it's a pretty crazy weekend i was just gonna do a vlog of like doing a horse show completely alone but uh tomorrow it's flume's first show as well so you guys will get to see that too all right i think it's light enough now i feel like it just suddenly got brighter and we can put the desert in i'm not gonna mind anymore he didn't get too dusty last night because I have put him in a brand new paddock because I just don't trust him literally at all in not just absolutely coating every single centimeter of him in dust when he's in his normal paddock because he is really good at making himself a beautiful patch of dust to roll in like 50 times a day. Here's the new boy. Hey, good morning. It's like, what are you doing up so early? Why are you feeding us so early? And then Flumaroonie over there. No reply. Soon this will be you. Soon this will be you. Yes. Oops. We took the divider out, so it's a real big bay. Sorry, Dex. Okay, so this is my meter 20 round. It is just a one round stakes, which was quite nice. I had him going quite chilled just because he can be a little bit spicy after he hasn't done a show yeah, in a while. And that was the case for this show, but he was really, really nice and rideable. He usually goes really well at this show or just at Mount Pleasant in general, just because the ground is usually pretty nice and reliable. The distances I remember in this were quite tight, so I had to hold him up a bit, but usually that sort of thing is actually quite good for him because then he doesn't get long and strung out and doesn't, you know, take a couple of long spots and then run off with me. So as you can see, I can just keep him nice and together and jumping properly. Did definitely get in a little bit tight to that one though, as you can tell, but but it probably actually helped in that then I could sort of ride for the next fence and not just hold him up. And he was really good over that last part of the line there turning left because he usually has a little bit of a right drift. So I was really happy with him. And then these last few jumps, he jumped so nicely, like prime Dexter jumping. Oof, love him. Love him so much. And then I'll show it again because it was like, it was good. Cool. Good Dexter. My obligatory drop into pick a pie bakery on the way home with the float. Boys, 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 boys. Boys and boys. As you can probably tell, I completely forgot to film today. And so, don't grab my hair. Don't grab my hair. I literally reckon he's like a foal still mentally, or at least he was. When I got him, he was still like, his brain had just not caught up at all with anything. And so he literally would act like a foal. Anyway, I forgot to film today. Clearly not very practiced with vlogging at the moment. So it is what it is. 
but we went really well. Uh, Dexter came third in the meter 20, which was just one round stakes. Uh, went clear, nice round. He knocked a couple, but like they didn't come down. So that was good. Like didn't knock them very hard. And yeah, so that was great. It was technically our like state championships for last year because just kept getting like moved and put back, put back. So yeah, it was like good competition and yeah. So happy with that. But now I'm getting not you, but Flu Marooney ready for the show tomorrow. Not you, not you, you're not coming. Sorry. You're doing dressage things instead because you're so big. Yes. We have a ridden and washed wet pally. But look how pretty he looks. He looks really small from this angle. Aren't you pretty? Hmm? Are you pretty? Oh yeah, but please dry me off and get me back to my paddock and my food, please. Okay, so I thought I'd just voice over the whole lot. We got to the show and he was a little bit overwhelmed, but as you can see, he looked pretty chill. And I got him out and lunched him. He really doesn't do anything bad ever, really. The worst he'll do is scoot forward for like four strides and then suddenly turn in, but that is literally all he does. So then I jumped on him and just had a nice walk around and then started my little trot. I don't usually like sort of pushing him forward straight away, especially because he is already such a forward horse. So I just kind of try and just let him just potter along at a reasonably slow pace, mainly just also to be like, it's fine flume like I know we're going forward but like you don't have to scoot off into oblivion because he just loves working and going forward and being quick so yeah and had my nice little canter around at this time he was still <laughs> very green in the canter so I was so happy with how he was going and just letting me do everything honestly this whole show like he is very very green jumping like as in has only had one proper jumping ride ever and aside from that like I'll jump just the occasional fence or two after <laughs> sort of doing everything Good else boy. at home so I was Good just like boy. look we'll just see how he goes and that's what I'm always like with my horses I'm just like let's just see how they go and if they look like they're overwhelmed or anything then we can just stop now this is prime mum filming she was like oh my god I didn't realize you were gonna jump yet <laughs> so she just completely missed the jump <laughs> she was so nervous like far far more nervous than me I think because she hasn't really seen much of Flume going at all yet and just remembers him as like a complete baby breaker and so she was very shocked to see that he's actually jumping now I'm like well funnily enough mum he is jumping and that's why I'm taking him to a show that uh has jumps <laughs> but yeah you can see he just goes up and he's just like hell yeah this is my job this is what I do I go over the jumpies I was so happy with him. I really did just throw him in the deep end a little bit with this show, obviously with the lack of jumping that he's ever done, but I wouldn't have done it with any horse that I didn't think could handle it. And I just know that Flume's the type of horse that he's pretty cruisy and he really doesn't mind things. Except for this jump, he did mind this jump a little bit because he'd never seen a jump like that before. And then his first jump, it's funny, like, in warm-up so often when they've got a bunch of other horses around them they're just like oh this is fine but as soon as they get out there often like Dexter was the exact same with his first ever round jumping he did the exact exact same thing as Flume just did then and then yeah he just went oh actually okay yeah I'll, I'll go over it I don't know if that counted as a refusal I assume it would have because he stepped backwards but yeah I was still so happy with him he didn't turn or try to do anything silly <laughs> as you can see just a bit wonky there setting his neck up and just being like oh my god I haven't been down this side of the arena yet so I mainly just wanted him to potter around at quite a slow pace just so he could take it all in 
and think about it and not just like whiz around not thinking about it yeah I was a bit nervous about this because he'd never done a double before ever literally ever so he was kind of like oh my god there's two jumps in a row sorry what but still went oh okay sure yep we'll do that and then I was like okay I think we're ready to do a little canter up to the fence and then he went mm, maybe not not yet it's like okay we'll try cantering up to this fence so I just like kicked him forward a little bit more more pressure on the leg and got a bit left behind there because I wasn't <laughs> expecting such a uh, quick takeoff but yeah I was so happy with him he's so cute such a little baby but I think by this sort of time he was starting to enjoy it you can see him like putting his ears up bit of an ugly cross canter there but he sorts it out eventually <laughs> oh okay and then that was it so I was so happy with him got through the first ever round and also what a nice trot but yeah got through his first ever round bit ugly but you'd expect it to and considering he was completely thrown in the deep end and jumped everything just was a little bit wonky I was really very very happy with him it's such a little gem and here we are just walking back to the float i'm back from flimaroonies first show as you can tell it went really really well i had no expectations because anything with a young horse you don't really want any expectations because as soon as you have them often they are crushed <laughs> so i was like okay i won't even say that i'm gonna get on him we'll just see how he goes when I lunge him or when I get there or whatever and got there he was quite calm went for a walk and he was like oh my god I haven't seen some of these things ever before what is that sort of thing he doesn't spook in a bad way just like a classic like ooh, 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 kind of way and so yeah took him for a walk went back packed him up chucked him on the lunge I <laughs> did this when it was still going through the first class so I was in the second class the 40 centimeters there was a 30 centimeter class so I just uh chucked him on the lunge early because I was like I'm not sure how much he's gonna need settling down time wise and yeah chucked him on the lunge he went round and he was a little bit like <sighs> tail was like this like really showing his deep deep dark Arabian I don't know about dark but his far, far back Arabian bloodlines. <laughs> so yeah, he just had like a couple of like dances around for two circles and then he settled a little bit and then really settled. So I lunged him probably for only like 10 minutes, I want to say, and then took him back and got on him and walked him out. He found the red judges caravan a little bit scary. He found a pram a little bit scary. Just things he's literally never seen before. So yeah, jumped on him. He was great, great to ride. He often does take a little bit of like flexing in, flexing out because he can get a little bit stuck, particularly when he's a little bit less laid back than he is at home. He takes a little bit of like, relax your neck because he tends to kind of get a little bit stuck as you can probably tell from the videos but yeah he was great the issue was because I entered him in two classes the 40 and the 50 centimeters I had got on him so early and so after the 40 centimeters which he was great in as you saw just a little bit like oh my god of the first jump and some of the jumps that he would have literally never seen before I'm just gonna say Flume has probably only jumped a jump 15 times in his life literally because I've only ever done very short sessions or I've just been doing like flat work stuff or you know going around the property and then I'm like there's a jump here I might as well just see how he goes over it and he just like doo -doo 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 -doo, jump so <laughs> he's probably yeah only jumped like 15 jumps ever in his life so <laughs> I was really quite throwing him in the deep end by then being like, all right, 10 jumps, let's go. So yeah, he just saw the first fence and was like, oh, it's a bit different. And then he got into a bit of a rhythm and then by the end he was really enjoying it. So it was really great. But yeah, 
by the t end of the 40 centimeters I'd been on him for the longest he had ever been ridden in his, in his life. He's only four, he'd had a fair bit of work and stuff so I was like yeah I'm just gonna not do the 50 centimeters and just leave it at that on a good note and have him thinking this is great a good show so yeah I'm really happy with him he was such an honest little pony and I love him so much I'm thinking the next show I'm taking him to is Kimber which is in two weeks and that will just be very similar like I'll probably only do the 40 and 50 centimeters if they have them otherwise we'll just do whatever they have that's small yeah okay so I thought I would just slot another show in here because you know why not so this was Kimber show or Yotana show jumping championships which was so so far away I think it ended up taking us like seven and a half hours or something so we ended up getting them all off like two hours before we got there or something just because Flume hadn't ever been on like a long trip like that before so our group for the show decided to have a cocktail competition which was absolutely bloody unreal I will tell you that much and part of it was this champagne tower like you're kidding me that is literally stunning and tasty too <laughs> but yeah basically it was an amazing show just to get flume out and about and just seeing all these things like some bin bags flapping and everything like that but it wasn't a whole lot of luck with a uh, dex to this show because he slammed his head into the stable on the first day so i didn't actually get to compete him but i got flume out on the second day just to do some little show jumping so this was a 50 centimeters which he had never seen before like this height i don't think i had even jumped him since the last show so once again was really really throwing him in the deep end and just seeing how he would go oh my god i'm so sorry for him but yeah i rode absolutely atrociously i will say kind of difficult to ride properly when you're on such a green horse so it's definitely not the prettiest thing in the world or at all and i also am realizing now and i definitely also realized during this round that my stirrups were still dressage length <laughs> so i think that was also slightly part of my struggle i was really nervous for this uh yeah okay we got over it but yeah i was so nervous for the one stride double because i was just like he's truly never seen two fences in a row especially that close i also completely lost my way there as you can probably tell got him back up to his little canter oh so cute it's like okay i'll change my lead over the fence like a big boy these last three were really really nice Nice little just rolling on, getting the hang of things. It's like, okay. A little bit of a long distance there, but I was so proud of him. Like, he just gets on the job and just does it. And it's not very pretty often, but hey, I am not complaining in the slightest. So this was my cocktail. It was called the Jumping Palomino, and it is musket, pineapple juice, and gin. And it is so, so good. So anyway, this was Dexter jumping on the second day. I decided he was feeling fine, and so I would give it a shot. And he was definitely feeling fine. He was, he was feeling more than fine. He was absolutely crazy. I could barely contain his excitement in my hands. So... <laughs> It was nice to see that he was feeling really, really good, but wow, it was, it was really a test in my back strength. You can see he's like, hell yeah, like I, I did that. But the day before I actually did a dressage challenge with him. And so I think that's why he was so feisty. He was like, don't you ever let me do dressage again. And then this is me, not me, the vet stitching up his head wound. So, yep. That was Kimba show and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon for a very, very exciting video. Bye guys.